You know, uh, buyer demand has slowed down in lots of places, but guess what? It's still pretty high in Berkeley County, especially in two zip codes here. 25403, which is Martinsburg on the west side of I-81. It's more spread out over there, uh, just not as densely populated. There's some higher end homes in that area. The other zip code that shows high demand is 25404, also in Martinsburg. It's the area just west and north of town. So people are moving to this area. Why is that? I'm going to tell you why I think it is. I'm a Jana Classy, and my husband Paul and I are realtors here in the Eastern Panhandle. And if you want to learn about the Eastern Panhandle, consider subscribing. We do a new video every week. So this, my friends, is Berkeley County, West Virginia. It sits between Jefferson County and Morgan County. Interstate 81 runs right down the middle, and it's one of the draws to this area because it makes it very easy to get around. 81 runs from north to south, from the Canadian border in upstate uh, New York, down through Pennsylvania, uh, Maryland, Berkeley County, West Virginia, all the way to Tennessee. And it hooks up to various other highways, Route 70 to Baltimore, 270 to the DC uh, area, and also Route 50 into Virginia. So that highway gives you access to lots of places. It divides Berkeley County into two parts. The area on the east side that's more densely populated, and then the area on the west side is less densely populated, and it becomes more rural the further west you go. And you notice the difference the minute you cross 81 from east to west. And a lot of people really like the fact that Berkeley County's location in the middle of the Eastern Panhandle is situated. So you can go west and pretty soon you're in wilderness-like country and you can go east and you're getting into shopping areas and more of the amenities of city living. So you've got those options, uh, which is nice. Here's something I really like a lot about this area. The historic feel of the downtown areas. I'd much rather hang out in a place like this or this instead of these places. I know uh, there's lots more stuff in those big malls and inner uh, city stores, high-end clothing, furniture, jewelry stores, lots of restaurants. I know, I used to live there. When I sell property up that way, it was more the norm to get all dressed up. <laughs> it's a bit more relaxed here. But you know, I don't know, stuff's just not that important to me these days. I like the feel of small downtowns. They seem uh, friendlier to me and even uh, more interesting. The next good thing is the home prices. Because uh, the Eastern Panhandle is close to the DC Baltimore area, one, two hours, depending on where you are, it is more expensive than the rest of West Virginia. But compared to homes near those big metro areas, it's way less expensive. The uh, proximity to those metro areas, while being totally unlike them, is one of the things that make the Eastern Panhandle so appealing. So you uh, enjoy the more relaxed, less expensive lifestyle here while being pretty close to the amenities offered in larger cities. The average price of a home in Montgomery County, Maryland in 2022 was 550000 in Berkeley County, it was two hundred and eighty-five thousand. Five hundred and fifty thousand. That'll buy a nice mid-range home in um, Montgomery County, nice town home. Five hundred and fifty thousand in Berkeley County will buy an upscale home and with some acreage. Two hundred and eighty-five thousand in Berkeley County will buy a nice mid-range home and a very nice townhome. There's no such thing as a 285,000 home in Montgomery County, at least something that you, you know, could live in. Here's something else, property taxes. 
they're about half of what you pay in uh, Montgomery County. Uh, a a five hundred fifty thousand home in Berkeley is going to be around twenty four hundred dollars in taxes. Same priced house in Montgomery County, property taxes are about five thousand dollars. So living in West Virginia is a lot less, at least uh, on the housing front, than Maryland. That's the big reason everybody's moving to Berkeley County. Another thing. Uh, Several large companies have recently opened up branches here, so there's more jobs now. Procter Gamble recently opened a big uh, warehouse, so they're hiring. Same thing for Amazon. You may have heard uh, that Jim Justice, the governor of West Virginia, has proposed eliminating income taxes in the state. That's been going on a while. Uh, Last year it was turned down. Um, He submitted the proposal again, and last week, a compromise came out of the Senate where income taxes would be reduced. Just what uh, Jim Justice said about the plan. The bill puts West Virginia on a pathway toward elimination of the personal income tax. You know, um, West Virginia leans conservative, so taxes are not typically appreciated West Virginia has personal property taxes, uh, taxes on automobiles, RVs, things like that. And there are proposals to eliminate or reduce that, but that hadn't happened yet. The uh, very low real estate taxes here offset the personal property taxes, making uh, West Virginia lots less expensive tax-wise. Another place here that's really nice, great downtown area, is Charlestown in Jefferson County. And over there on the right is a video about uh, Charlestown. So check that out. And I I really appreciate you tuning in. I'll, I'll see you next week. Have a great week.